Hey everyone, Jonathan Allen here from Camp and RV in Stratford, Ontario. Today's walkthrough video, we've got a 2021 Northern Spirit 2557RB. Uh, this one here is a 25 foot box length ultralight travel trailer made by Coachman RV. It weighs 5,900 pounds dry weight, so it's easily towable by a lot of vehicles out there. Uh, it's got a large rear bathroom, private front queen bedroom, uh, and it's got a nice big open living area with a power slide. So we're going to give you a nice walk around and we'll show you all the interior features as well as all the exterior features as well. Uh, so starting at the front, we've got a front pass-through storage, goes right through one side to the other. There's also a hidden storage compartment in there that's actually made for your fishing poles. So you're keeping uh, your fishing poles separate from everything else, doesn't cause any damage. Also in here, we do have a switch for the lights on the front cap because there is LED light strip on the front cap. There's also a motion sensor light in the storage compartment. So if you leave your lights on in there, they will turn off automatically. Nice feature with all of the Northern Spirits too. They do come with a drill bit for your drill so you can zip your jacks up and down. You don't have to crank them by hand. And then with the door, you do have a magnet that'll hold that door open for you so you're not holding it with your head to load everything and unload. Uh, at the front here, we have the two propane tanks. They have the easy access tab. You've got a battery that sits in behind. All of our tanks come full and all of our units include a deep cycle battery. Uh, this one also has a power tongue jack on the front and there is a, also a built-in light on there. On the other side, you do have your pass-through, which we did see from the other side. Uh, and as I mentioned, four corner stabilizer jack, so you, you just use that drill bit or you can crank them. It does come with a crank as well does have the large slide out on the off door side, so that's in your main living area. We'll show you that from inside. Back here, you've got your sewer hookup down at the bottom, so gray and black water tanks. And then you've also got your power hookup. Basically, all the hookups are over on this side. So you've got cable and satellite hookups, your power hookup. It does have your city water connection, so when you go to a park that offers water, you can feed it right in. And then we've also got an outside spray port. So the idea with this is in place of an outside shower, you get an outside sprayer, and then there's a dog leash clip here. This is a completely pet friendly unit. You can leash your dog on here, and then you can spray your dog off if he rolls around in the mud. Bumper on the back, you can store your sewer hose in. It's also got a black tank flusher back here, so after you've emptied out your sewer tank, you can hook a water hose on there and it cleans out the inside of the tank for you. It is pre-wired for a backup camera, so if you do want to add a camera to it, all the wiring is already in place. And then this one does have an outside stove and fridge. So it's a mini outside kitchen. You get the two burner stove that pulls out and then you can close that up and you get the fridge up above. And all of that just slides right back in. And again, you've got magnets that'll hold that door open for you. But they just come right down and lock up. You do have a pet leash clip on this side as well. Also a power awning with built-in LED lights. And with this awning, there is dump valves on them. So if you want to lower one side versus the other, you can tighten up the spring and it'll hold that awning on an angle for you so it lets all the water trickle off. But you can leave the springs loose and if you do, it'll collapse, water will fall off, it'll spring right back up. We do have aluminum wheels and they're nitro filled tires. We've also got outdoor speakers. There is also an outside TV hookup over here, so you've got cable and power outlets here as well. Pre-wired for a portable solar panel at the front. So if you are going to be camping without a hydro hookup and you want to keep your battery charged up, you can buy a panel that will plug right in and it will charge up the battery. We do have the upgraded stairs, so it's a Lippert solid step that fold right into the door frame. The legs are adjustable, but they're a nice heavy duty aluminum nice and solid, you close those up and the door closes right over top, gives it a nice clean look. You do have the separating screen door, and then there's a friction hinge on the main door so it'll hold that door open for you. And then as I mentioned those stairs will just fold right out, adjustable legs if you're on unlevel ground. And then nice and sturdy for going up. You also have a nice large entry assist handle to grab onto when you're going in and out. Making our way in, these are the all new colors, new flooring, new interior wall panels, the doors, everything. This is the newest colors you can get. We have a nice big open living area with a tri-fold sofa that'll pull out to an extra bed. You've also got a large U-shaped dinette that'll drop down into an extra bed. 
And there is storage underneath those dinette seats on both sides, actually all the way around. This one also has a pet center. So not only do you get the storage on this side, but then down below, you've got pet bowls and a pet bed that'll pull out. So, and of course, you don't have to leave them sitting right here. You can move them around. Right at the back, we've got the bathroom. So nice big open bathroom. You've got the nice vanity on one side, lots of counter space. You've got the medicine cabinets up above. You've got your foot flush toilet. And then a nice large shower with the sliding doors and the full shower surround. You also get a skylight in the shower for extra headroom and natural light. And then you got a roof vent with a built-in power fan. They do have a nice pocket sliding door. And as you can see, a nice large entry for going in and out. But that just slides across. And then there's another one of those doors to give you privacy in the bedroom as well. Now, a really cool feature on these, this has got what they call the Max Pantry Storage. So as you can see here, We've got our entertainment center with the TV, but if you're looking for your storage, you've got full pantry in behind, motion sensor light, you got a spot where you can hang some jackets, you got your trash can location, uh, and then you can also use that for brooms, vacuums, uh, basically you can use this for dishes, you can use it for pantry, you can use it for anything. It's all hidden storage, there's a magnet that'll hold this together, and then you've also got a for locking that after we do have storage up above the entertainment and then the tv does pull out an angle so if you want to give yourself a better viewing angle while you're sitting at the dinette you can and that tv it's uh, linked up to your cable and satellite hookups from outside and then also the stereo which you can it's got hdmi and usb plug-ins so you can plug your tablets into it you can pretty much play anything off of it also a nice feature with all the Northern Spirits, they give you a wireless charger. So when you're plugged in, just put your phone on there, keeps your phone charged up for you. Extra storage down below as well. More than enough storage in this unit. Everywhere you look, you'll find storage. Kitchen area here, we do have a bottle opener, as well as you got drawers down below for storage. Little flip up extension for the counter. Uh, and then you do have your double sinks with sink covers, and when you're not uh, using the sink covers, there is a storage area right above the sink for them. But you can see nice stainless steel sinks, good amount of counter space, and then you do have your storage up above. Three burner stove with the flush mount glass cover, so again, when you're not using the stove, you got extra counter space. Those fold right up, give you access to the three burners. You got an oven down below. You can see you got nice decorative LED lighting around the knobs, but then you also have lighting in the oven. Built-in microwave up above, and you get a propane electric double door fridge. So fridge and freezer, which are separate. AC is ducted through the ceiling and it's a double duct. So all these white vents that you see go right through and that's for the AC. And then you do have a vented furnace as well. Uh, all the interior lights are LED, so they're very energy efficient. They use very little power. And then right at the front, we do have the queen walk around bedroom. So again, you do have the pocket door that'll close that off for privacy. You got a walk around bed, you can get around either side. You can see you got power outlets and USB plugs. You got storage on both sides. And then this has the max bed storage. So that lifts up. Again, you got a motion sensor light down here. And you got a spot where you can sit down. You got drawers here where you can put all of your extra clothing. But you got a spot where you can sit down and get dressed. And then you can have all your folded clothes on top here as well. And it is gas shock arms that'll hold that up so you don't have to worry about it falling on you. And then there is more power outlets and USB ports on this side as well. And then as I mentioned, you do have the storage all the way around, but you got wardrobe cabinets on both sides and then lots of deep storage up above. There is also a roof vent in the bedroom and a TV hookup in the bedroom as well. So if you want to put a TV in the bedroom, you got a backer on the wall where you can mount it and it ties into your cable. So again, this is the 2021 Northern Spirit 2557 RB. We now have this model in stock at Camp at RB in Stratford. We always have Northern Spirits in stock and constantly have them on order. You can visit our website to view all of our available inventory, which is campatrv.com. Follow us on social media. Check out our YouTube channel. Uh, give us a call. We'd love to have you in. Come on in and see us. Happy camping.